I download a drawing of a cat from the internet as a reference to create my pants from it. I import this reference into Blender and start modeling my base mesh. Then I create my simple cloth mesh and increase the resolution and drag the pattern to our character. Here I duplicate the selection and check the face orientation and adjust it if necessary. Here we fix the incorrect alignment with the flip normals and duplicate both front buttons and drag them back. And we flip the normals again so that the alignment of the pants is correct. Now we see in the simulation that we don't have a seam. Just add them. We select our stitching using the edges and press create sewing. We repeat this procedure until we have created all seams. Here we should have informed ourselves in advance where such seams in pants can be found. This is important to be able to create a clean seam and simulation. When we are done, we start the simulation again and pay attention to the seams. Aha! Here we see that we forgot the back set. Let's make up for it quickly. Now, let's just work the overhanging parts. We increase the intensity of the sewing and check the result directly. That should be enough. Let's select the preset and see how the slider effect to the pants. The negative value in the shrink causes our pants to get a little wider and therefore there is a higher chance that stronger wrinkles will appear. Let's additionally increase the resolution by one level to get a better quality. Here we see that the simulation has become much slower. This is due to the mesh resolution. If we add self-collision, the whole cloth simulation becomes slower, because more has to be calculated. Just play with the sliders, do some adjustments and see how they affect the cloth mesh. Now we see that the pants look much more realistic. This is because of the high resolution cloth mesh. So we can play with the sliders a bit more and we are done with the pants. A few changes here and there and we can close the open holes in the mesh. To do this we press apply cloth and pull the slider cleaning sewing holes to close the gaps quickly and easily. Now we are finished with our base pants. To work out more details I recommend the new cloth brush in the blender builds to add more wrinkles and foldings and more detail to your whole mesh. I hope the little introduction has helped you to create your own trousers in blender. Of course you have to sculpt or add details afterwards but you can do the base mesh in less than 5 minutes with simply clothes. I hope you like it and please subscribe my channel and give me a like or give me a dislike. I am happy of each of you. See you soon. My name is Vyacheslav Tyssen and I love Blender.